Hey guys, Brian here from Liquid Concepts. So today we're pretty excited. We're going to be doing a, uh, a new film that we're gonna be getting in. It's from uh, Hydro Styles in the UK. And uh, this is their Midgard Dragon Scale. So really cool pattern. Uh, figured we'd go ahead and shoot a video on it, show you guys a few things on it, and also uh, show you a lot of the versatility that you do have in this pattern. And so this pattern is pretty much like a dragon scale. It has some claws in it, it has some really neat design features in it, and you'll see that kind of in the video here that we'll show you. Um, but what's cool about it is, is that it's a black and clear pattern. So you can uh, pretty much take and put any color, base color behind it, and it makes it really stand out and you can uh, make it really versatile. So you can add candies over the top of it, you can do flakes, you can do pearls, you can do uh, neons, glow in the darks, anything like that. Really cool pattern. I think you guys are definitely going to really enjoy it. So we've got a couple of different uh, products or a couple of different parts that we're going to be dipping. And so we're gonna go ahead and dip a few of those. We'll shoot some candy on one of them. Uh, one of them's got a fade on it. And then kind of just show you guys what it can actually look like. Um, if you take the time, set it up right, and then, of course, you dip it in the Midgard Dragon Skull. So, uh, or Dragon Scales, I'm sorry. So, first thing is, is we have uh, one of our tumblers here. And so, this one, it's just in a silver metallic base. So, nothing special about it yet, but this one we are going to come back in, spray a candy over it, make it really pop. And so, um, on this one right here, uh, with this scale pattern like this, you can either have the scales going left and right, or you can have them going up and down, depending on which way you turn the cup. So in this case, let's go ahead and set this like this, and let's get this all lined out here. So we'll cut that across there and cut that down. There we go and we'll set this off to the side. So again, on a pattern like this, um, you can really use just about any base color you want. And on something like this, it is probably a little large for the piece, but I figured uh, we'd go ahead and give us plenty of room to roll the cup, get everything in there, and uh, get us a good pattern. So we're just going to set some tape down on this right here and mainly just uh, laying it out on the two sides here. All right, so now that we got those cut, let's go ahead and get this in the water. All right, so we've got it in the water, lays down really nice. Got a few little air pockets right here. You can quickly and easily blow them out. No big deal at all. Once you've got everything set kind of the way that you want it, of course, we'll pull our dividers in and then we're ready to go. So of course, one thing with this is, is that um, we've got our temperature set at 80 to 90 degrees at one minute on the water. So right now we've got ours set at about 83. So still right in line with what we need. Go ahead and pull some of these wrinkles out just to make sure. All right, so we'll grab some gloves on and then get started. All right, so again, with something like this right here, it's gonna be really easy to activate because it is just a solid color. So you just want a nice, smooth, even pass across the whole thing. And you just want to lay it out just like you normally would, and it should activate really nicely. So let's go ahead and activate this. So now that we've got that, now we can take this, drop it down, come in with it, and then of course roll it all the way around just like that. Pull that out, and there we go. So that is going to be our Midgard Dragon Scales. Uh, like I said, very nice pattern all the way around and actually if you're sitting the cup straight up so you can actually see exactly how it looks, 
you can see we've got really good patterns all the way through um, of course the silver metallic is really going to pop whenever that sunlight hits it and um, you're really going to be able to have uh, just about any versatility with the colors and everything like that so I'm gonna go ahead we're gonna get this rinsed and then we're going to grab a couple of other things and uh, show you guys some different uh, effects that you can do with like fades and different colors and things like that so stay tuned all right so now that we've saw what the silver looks like now we're gonna go ahead and just do just a regular plain Jane white um, whites of course gonna make the color stand out the most and uh, you're gonna see the most color through that so again with the silver we're gonna go actually gonna go ahead and add some pop to it add a little bit of candy it's gonna look really nice but figure we would go ahead and just show you what it looks like underneath the white as well so again we've already got our pattern created here so yep that will be enough like that so now we'll just go ahead and we'll throw another piece of tape down right through here all right, so now let's take this, set it back down in the water, and then get it going again. So you can take this, hold it over this edge like this, drop it down, very easy to work with. No, uh, no problems with it doing that way, corner to corner, anything like that. Uh, everything should work really well for you. So one thing to remember is, is if you are taping all of the sides, you do want to try to give yourself a little bit of um, extra room for it to expand because you can see it's actually expanding and then now it's slowly starting to come back in. So now that we've got a few little air pockets right there, it's no big deal. We can just take the air, drop these out just like that, and then we're good to go. So we'll go ahead and we'll get some gloves on and then get started for the next dip. All right, so we got 60 seconds on the clock. We'll spray this again. Get the film really glassed out, which everything looks really good with it. And so again, we'll take this and roll it. Just like that. Roll it all the way around. And there you go. So again, we'll flip it over this way just so you can see how it'll look. But you've got really good coverage all the way around. The film dips really great. And of course, you can really start to see a lot of the detail and everything that's inside the scales. Uh, really going to make it uh, a lot more realistic, a lot more true to the nature of what it's trying to accomplish as far as the dragon scales. And uh, it's just a really cool pattern. So you're really gonna see a lot of that color start popping through. So now let's go ahead and get this one rinsed. And then of course, we'll go ahead and uh, do the faded one that we've got and show you guys how that one's gonna turn out. So stay tuned. All right, so now that we've saw what it looks like underneath the white base and of course a silver metallic base, now we're gonna do something uh, that you can do a little bit more custom with and kind of give you guys an idea on that as well. So what we've got here is of course, we've got a bright metallic blue. I say bright, a little bit darker, but it's still a good metallic blue. And then we've also got faded into a red. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to lay this out here and then we're going to dip it. And what you're gonna see is you're gonna get a really good pattern that goes right over the blue on into the red. It's gonna give you a really cool effect and you're gonna have that fade from, of course, the way that we have it right now. So we're gonna go ahead and lay this out here. So let's set the tape down just like that. And then of course, we'll measure everything out. So we'll start right here, drop it down like that. And then we'll put our cut about right there and set this off to the side and get started on laying this down into the water. So we'll set that right there. Now, the one thing is, is that this is a somewhat directional pattern because you do have kind of more of like 
the feet, uh, or I guess you would call it the scales, that is, uh, it's got some spots on it. And so you can either have those going upwards or going downwards. And so depending on the way that you want the pattern to look, you may have to choose which way it actually goes. And so uh, in this case, we're actually going to set it like that. So then that way, whenever we dip it, all of these top edges here will actually be going like this right here. And so we're gonna have it wrap around it like this. So we're gonna go ahead and because I'm going to be dipping inward like this way, I'm gonna make sure that I got plenty of room on my dividers and then I'm gonna take the film and lay it in there. So blow some of this out of the way. We'll move these back out, give us plenty of room and then we'll go ahead and lay the film down in the water. All right. So now that we've got that, go ahead and start laying this down. And then of course, corner to corner action like that works really well. So again, we'll start our timer and then we're gonna give ourselves a little bit of room for expansion on this film, just to allow it to expand a little bit. Um, if you do contain it, like I was saying before, all the way around, you do wanna make sure that you either put the slits in it or something like that to allow it to expand and contract and pull back in. Other than that though, everything will be ready to go. And then of course, about 20 to 30 seconds in, we can go ahead and start pulling our dividers in and getting everything uh, tight like we need it. So in this case, I'm gonna take and drop that one down about right there. And then now we're ready to go. And of course, we're gonna be spraying it with the liquid concepts activator and we just want that nice glassed out look. So in this case for us, it's normally one pass all the way around and then you're good to go. All right, so we'll start right here. And just go ahead and let it dip all the way down into the film, just like this. And there we go. So again, on something like this right here, because it's such a darker color, you can see that you can just barely see it. But whenever that light hits it out in the sun, it's really gonna pop a lot because you're gonna have a lot of that metallic coming through here. So you'll see that here in just a little bit. But move on over to here, and then you'll see that you've got a really um, r deep red that that is really popping through and of course makes that pattern look really nice with even that red look to it. So this will look really good whenever we take it out in the sun and show it like that. So um, whenever we get this thing rinsed off and then clear coated, you'll definitely be able to see it and they will look amazing. So stay tuned on that. So we're gonna go ahead, uh, get these all rinsed off throw them into the paint booth. Uh, we're gonna shoot some candies on the silver metallic one. We're gonna go ahead and clear coat these, and then that way you can see exactly how they come out. So stay tuned. So as you can see, the candy on these cups that we've done, uh, or actually the cup that we've done, it turned out amazing, looks really good, especially in the sunlight. That, that um, silver metallic really makes it pop really good. And as you can see on the hard hat, the red to blue, it turned out amazing using a base coat with the fade underneath it. So with this film, it's really a great use to be um, pretty much anything that you want. You can use any color you want. You can do candies. You can do uh, pretty much a whole world of different things just by changing your base colors, your candies, or even throwing in some metallics and pearls and everything like that. So if you're interested in something like this, I would highly suggest getting this. Uh, you can check it out on the website, liquidconcepts.com. Uh, also, you can search for it. Um, and as well as we're gonna put a link in the description below, so that way you can go directly to it. Um, now again, as you saw in the picture, uh, it is a one meter wide, so you can do full side-by-sides, ATVs. Uh, you can do uh, full interior parts on trucks, cars, even wheels. I mean, pretty much you can do just about anything you want with it because it is a one meter wide. So 
Let me know your questions or comments about it. Uh, I know we're really excited about it uh, to have it in the lineup. And again, this is from uh, Hydro Styles in the UK and um, a great company to work with. So they're definitely bringing out a lot of new patterns. We're really hoping to uh, work with them in the future with a lot of our stuff that we do. So that way we can get you guys uh, what you want and also have the best of the both worlds from the UK and also in the United States. So if you have any questions or comments, definitely leave them below. We'd love to hear from you. And as always, I'm Brian from Liquid Concepts. We're making hydrographics great again. We'll see you guys next time.